never once Did you presume I couldn't do this? You're the one who made me try Didn't hold my hand but always by my side You're my constant in a world that's so demanding Hit in the sky but now I'm landing Oh, I never could just choose a path Hey guys, Katie here. So today I am doing a Maddie from Euphoria inspired makeup look. So if you are interested in how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I honestly don't know if she would wear this turtleneck, but she definitely would wear this headband. And yes, my hair looks crazy. It's just like in a clip, but you know, we will fix that later. Okay, so honestly, I think we're going to do complexion first. Yes. And I honestly, like, don't even know exactly what look I'm going for. I'm just going for, like, a basic Maddie look. So let me look her up really quick. So honestly, I think I might go for something like this. Okay, guys. So first, I am just going in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. It's a lot darker than my natural skin tone, but I love being nice and tan. This is just in the shade 290N. I love this foundation because it's literally so buttery and smooth and oh, it just blends in like a dream. I feel like it does kind of oxidize, so at first I might look a little bit orange and crazy, but um, but then it'll look really really pretty i feel like this just covers up so many of my blemishes and really just makes me look like i have an instagram filter on my face i'm obsessed with rare beauty you guys so i'm just gonna quickly buff this out with my real techniques brush this is just 200 it says it's the expert face brush. I really love this brush to buff out my foundation. And I like to just kind of press it into my skin rather than like going like this. I know that some people do that. Maybe I'll try it on this side. I guess it doesn't matter. And I'm also going to add a little bit on my neck. It doesn't have to be my whole neck because I'm wearing a turtleneck today. So obviously um, you can still see my real skin. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean you can tell better on this side because I don't really have that much texture. So next, I'm just going in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. Um, it's the Hydro Sealer, and it is in the shade 14B Fair Light. Never could just choose a path of least resistance. Now here I stand, all that I am, and I am all the things I said to be. So now I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. I was at Ulta the other week and they have the cutest beauty blenders for, um, for Valentine's Day. And I've only seen them have hot pink beauty blenders and like black and nude but never this beautiful baby pink color like how stinking cute. To set the under eyes, I'm just going in with my Ilia powder in Magic Sands. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in the cap where there is some loose powder and gently bake. <laughs> If I do this with a brush, it just does not look the same. There's just something about the beauty blender being damp 
and holding on to the powder it just really melts into your face I feel like okay so now I'm gonna set the rest of the face so now I'm gonna basically set the foundation and I'm just gonna use the Tarte powder that I always use and like always um, all of the products will be in my description box below <music> tell that I really love this powder so next I'm just gonna go in with this NARS bronzer in Laguna I feel like this is such a basic bronzer that literally everyone uses but I don't know I got this for my birthday I think like the little birthday gift from Sephora but um, I don't know I've been really enjoying it, so I've been using it so much, and now I kind of understand why everyone and their mama uses this. So I like to go in with a brush like this. To contour, this is just like a little brush from Tarte. I think I got like a little set last year or something, but yes, I love little contour brushes like this because it just really really applies your bronzer so so nicely on the skin you don't want to use a brush that's too big like i don't know i see some people using like super duper big fluffy brushes to do it and honestly like whatever works for you go for it baby see like Obviously, it's not blended out that well, but that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to kind of like go like that. So now I'm just going to gently wipe the powder away. And then I think I want to go in again with this and just kind of clean up the contour a bit. I learned this from Jaclyn Hill like years ago and honestly it's been... I don't even know. <laughs> it's just been like really good, okay? Okay, going in with the same beauty blender. This time I'm kind of grabbing a little bit more powder. So yeah, you should look like a ventriloquist dummy by now. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. So now I think I might go in with brows just because it'll help me do the wing later and just help me figure everything out, you know? So like always, I'm just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. And for my brush, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B brush. This is honestly like my ride or die brush, brush, wait, what? Brow brush. It just honestly works so well every single time. So I have like four of these brushes, I think, maybe even more because they just really come in handy. Never once did you presume I couldn't do this. You're the one who made me try. Didn't hold my hand, but always by my side. You're my constant in a world that's so demented. I got this yesterday at Sephora. This is just the Kosas brow gel, but I don't know. I honestly, I really don't want it to wipe away any of my dip brow. So today I'm not going to use it. But, I don't know, stay tuned for my next makeup video. Maybe I will use it then. I probably will. 
just so I can test it out and see if I like it or not. The lady at Sephora, she recommended that to me because I was asking her about the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze and I asked her like if that was any good and if she's tried it she said it was good and like she's tried it but like I don't know she said it was really heavy and you can feel it all day and I just wasn't really down for that um, and and I was also talking to the guy at Sephora about it and he said that you can get like little like dandruff, like I don't know, like the residue from the brow freeze turns white, which I literally hate so much when it comes to brow products. Like, oh my god. If you know, you know. Ain't hitting the sky for now I'm landing. Oh, I never could just choose a path of least resistance. Now here I'm standing. So honestly, I think the brows are good. These are just like my basic brows every time I do my eyebrows. Why do I keep saying that word? Basic, that's like the word of the day with me today. And I always use a makeup wipe to clean off the dip brow pomade. Otherwise, it just it will not come off. So now I think I'm ready to wipe away this powder that we have under here. Oh, that I am, and I am all the things I said to be. Oh, because of you, I'm so I was at Ulta again yesterday and I picked this up. This was 100% an impulse buy, but I just, I really love blush. So it's just the Revolution Beauty Blusher Reloaded in the shade Peach Bliss. So I'm gonna go in, apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Um, wish me luck because I'm nervous. I'm always nervous trying new blushes. <laughs> oh goodness. definitely added a little something something I don't want to do too much because I don't know how much blush Maddie wears so yeah but yeah I think that's definitely enough okay so first I'm just gonna go in with the essence eyeshadow primer and um, I honestly just like to use this when I just want my eyeshadow to be extra bright. Sometimes I skip this step if I, you know, if I'm like in a hurry or like I just, I don't know, not feeling it that day. But yeah, this is, I don't know. It's just really interesting how different products make your whole look just turn out differently. go into my Madison Beer Morphe palette and I'm going to dip into this really bright shade right here. It's definitely not like a white white but it's like a beautiful ivory shade and it's just completely matte. I've already hit pan on this eyeshadow of course because I just love doing this stuff so. Okay, so that is nice and set. So now I'm just going to add some black eyeliner 
to my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with this. This is just the, um, the Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. <laughs> I hate doing this so much, but I love it at the same time. Oh my god. I hate that. But I hate doing this more. Tight lining, oh my god. It's the worst. Ah! Oh god. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the shade Cause I'm Black. And yeah, I'm honestly like so scared for this step because I don't know, I feel like. Uh, All right, so wish me luck, please, for this wing and inner cat eye, oh my god. Never once did you presume I couldn't do this. You're the one who made me try. Didn't hold my hand, but always by my side. You're my constant in a world that's so demanding. Hit in the sky, but now I'm landing. Oh, I never could just choose a path of least resistance. Now here I stand, all that I am, and I am all the things I Usually, if I try to do the inner cat eye or the fox eye, I honestly don't know what it's called, but whenever I try to do that, I don't know, I just feel like it looks really messy. Like, it looks cute from far away, but up close, it looks like a mess. So, I don't know, I might just go in with some eye, um, some black eyeshadow. This is just like an old Wet n Wild palette. And I'm also kind of like bringing it along my lower lash line and smoking it out. Yeah, it was so much easier just going in with like an angled brush and doing it with eyeshadow. So I brought it up a little bit on my upper lid, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So I'm kind of turning my brush at a diagonal angle and kind of just extending my natural little like area right here. <laughs> this is looking I think Maddie would definitely be proud of this eye look so I'm just gonna go in with a q-tip and just kind of clean it up a little bit where the inner corner is just a little bit not too much so honestly I think I'm done with the eyes I'm just gonna like Get a spoolie and run that through my lashes. I do have lash extensions, so depending on how I feel, I will add mascara or not, but I'm not really feeling the mascara. And I don't know, I feel like when I looked at Maddie's pictures, I don't know, I couldn't really see much mascara. Like I said, I don't watch the show, so I'm not really sure, but um, from what I could see from the pictures, it looks like her signature look is, is like a cat eye eyeliner. So 
So I have a few lip options right here. I'm not really sure which one I want to go for. I think I want to go with the KVD Vegan Beauty Lolita lip liner. And I like to overline my lips to make a pouty look most of the time, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put Ludwig on top. This is just the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And since I'm feeling a little bit frisky today, I am gonna go on top, I think just in the middle, with the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bare. And then I'm just gonna pat it out with my finger. So for setting spray, as always, I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Setting Mist. Okay, so up close... I don't know, up close the eyeshadow looks like messy to me in the inner corners, what do you think? I don't know if I should add like a little bit of this. I feel like I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm using a different eyeliner. This is just the flick stick. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Okay, there's, so there's a subtle difference, but now it looks a lot more seamless. So thank God that turned out well. Um, yeah, I'm literally just doing this off camera because I will probably mess up if I try to film myself doing this. So now I'm going to quickly do my hair, even though I literally have to go to the hair salon later. <laughs> so I'm just using this hot toddy spray. This is like a heat protectant spray. It literally smells so good. So I like to just spray it in my roots and then like kind of shake it out, rub it in. But I have to make sure my hair is like not too wet because then I can't really straighten it that well. But so I think that's good. Oh my God, this smells so good. So I am going to quickly straighten my hair. Why is this on like such a high setting, bro? Never once did you presume I couldn't do this. You're the one who made me try. Didn't hold my hand, but always by my side. You're my constant in a world that's so demanding. Head in the sky, but now I'm landing. Oh, I never could just choose a path of least resistance. Now here I stand, all that I am, and I am all the things I said to be. Oh, because of you, I'm whole again. Sometimes your feels gonna turn. 